Kelly, Kelly, what are you doing right now? Are you so lazy that you can't even go downstairs and cook a meal for your family? What's you doing up there? Get out of your stupid room and come down here right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. But could you just wait for me a minute? I'm trying to finish my work a little bit. It's just so urgent that I have to complete it today. But don't worry. I've already prepared everything. Everything should be ready in just a few minutes. What? I can't believe this. The dinner has to be ready by now. Your husband is coming home, and you still haven't cooked dinner? What a shame! Can you just stop blaming everything on your work? I'm so tired of this, okay? Why can't you just admit that you're so lazy to look after this family? Mom, I'm not lazy. It's just that I have some really urgent things to do, and I'm trying to complete it as soon as possible. And I have said before that I've prepared all the necessary things. Cooking them would be really quick. Urgent things, urgent things. That's all I ever hear from you. How many times have I told you that the family comes first? You work and wait. Your husband is coming home tired after a long day, and you're here prioritizing your own tasks over taking care of him and the family. Mom, I understand that family is important. And I always prioritize them, but sometimes work emergencies happen, and I have to handle them. It's not about laziness; it's about fulfilling my responsibilities both at work and at home. Responsibilities? Don't make me laugh. Cooking a meal for your family is a basic responsibility, and you can't even manage that. Your husband works hard to provide for us, and all I've ever asked you is to at least prepare a hot meal ready for him when he comes home. Is that too hard for you? No, it's not what I mean. I just want to receive a little bit of sympathy from you. You can't just be that unreasonable. I do all the household chores every day. I do whatever you want me to do, without complaining just a single word. But you never acknowledge what I have done. Oh, yeah. So now I'm the abuser. How dare you talk to your mother-in-law like that? Are you accusing me of teaching how to be a good wife? Huh? Ridiculous! Who taught you to speak to me with that tone? Is that your filthy inferior parents? Oh, what a pity I allowed Charles to bring you into this house. You just don't know how to behave. What are you just talking about? And what's wrong with my parents? You can't talk to your in-law family like that. I will never let you do that. Now my daughter-in-law knows how to speak against me. You think you're very brave, don't you? Well, Kelly, I don't see anything wrong with what I've just said. Your parents are inferior. Your family is inferior. That's the truth. And just look at you, just a filthy little brat. Mom, you can't keep insulting my parents or belittling my family like that. They are my family. And I love and respect them just as I love and respect you and our family. It's not fair or right for you to make such derogatory remarks. It's not fair at all to me and to us. Oh, so now you're defending your family? You can't deny the truth, Kelly. Admit it, Kelly. You and your family are all filthy and impoverished people. Just see how lucky you are to become in laws with me and our family. So instead of arguing with your mother-in-law like this, you should be grateful to be a part of this house, don't you think? I know that your family is running a huge business, and it's a pleasure for me to live a luxurious life in this big house. Mom, of course I know that, and I even know my place in this house. But it should not be the reason for you to treat me, your daughter-in-law, like this. I'm feeling like I'm just nothing but a maid to you. Well, if you want to be valued, then. Prove your worth. Show me that you are capable of upholding the standards and expectations of our family. It's not enough to just live in this house. You need to contribute also. I've put a lot of expectations on you, but you just can't stop making me irritated and disappointed. Oh, dealing with all the mess you created is such a tiring thing that I have to do every day. What are those things, Mom? Just tell me. Or are they all in your imaginations? I work my ass off every single minute with the hope to fit in this house, but you seem to neglect all of them, 
Instead, you resort to all possible ways to find my mistakes. I know that you value discipline in the house, but this is getting out of control. Wait, what? Are you saying that I'm crazy? Oh no, lady. You're not allowed to do that in my house. Wow, wow. You think that you can be safe in this house thanks to Charles, don't you? I tell you what. In your dreams, Charles may make a mistake and take you into this house, but I don't. I knew your true face under that stupid mask. Are you hoping to take over this entire house so that you could become the owner, spinning everyone around you? Well, that will never happen. Mom! You're misunderstanding me. I never mean to take over anything from you. Couldn't you just stop scolding me like that? I can't take it anymore! Never! This will not end here. Now, just finish your stupid work and cook dinner. If I don't see anything in this table in the next 15 minutes, I'll kill you. Got it? Hey, Kelly, wake up. It's 7 a.m., but I still don't have my breakfast. Why are you lying lazily in your bed like that? Get up right now and cook it. I'm about to be late for work. Hi, Charles. I'm really sorry for not being able to cook today. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now. You know, yesterday... Mom hit me really hard in my stomach, so it's hurting now. I can't focus on anything, even getting out of bed. I think you would have to defend yourself with the breakfast. I'm so, so sorry about that. If it's urgent, it's easy for you to buy something at the convenience store near our house, isn't it? What the hell are you talking about? Convenience store? Are you really out of your mind? Wow, is this truly the way you treat your husband? Even if it's true that your stomach hurts, it's not like you're going to die or something. You're still able to make just a light breakfast for me, aren't you? I'm sorry, Charles, but I really can't. My stomach is killing me. Please, I swear I'll make it up for you next time. Next time? There's no next time. Listen here, I work hard to earn money for the house and for you also. So you think that being my wife is the reason you could lie on the bed all day? Just look at yourself. Where do your fancy clothes come from? Even this shiny necklace. This luxurious purse. They're all for my money. And this is how you repay me? You pathetic woman. No, Charles. That's not what I meant. I'm just not feeling well. I'm in a lot of pain. You couldn't be stubborn like that. You won't die right away if you eat out. Shut up. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You're being rude. My mom was right all about you. You don't know everything except blaming all the faults on others. You're just ruining my family. I shouldn't have married you in the first place. Jeez, what a terrible thing I did to my life. Charles, stop it. Can't you just stop being mad at me? Who are you to insult me? Are you really my husband? Do you think that a stupid breakfast meal is much more important than the life of your own wife? I didn't know you could be this cold-hearted. Cold-hearted? Ha! It serves you right. You can't even handle your responsibility to take care of this house. You constantly fall short of meeting our expectations. So honestly, it's just fair that you won't deserve our respect. We give you everything, and what do we get in return? Nothing. Zilch, it's you who has the cold heart here, not me. Oh yeah? So just tell me, what do you do, as a husband, to help me? You just go out with your work, then come home and ask for dinner, and scold me for almost everything. And don't even get me started on your mother. Whenever she's around, she treats me like dirt. And where are you, just standing there, watching her hurt me? You never even bothered to ask about my pain. Is it too much for you to show a little concern, Charles? Even now, when I'm suffering my killing pain, you're here and order me to make you breakfast? I couldn't understand you anymore. You're not Charles that I used to know. You're just a jerk. Oh, please, Kelly. You're just exaggerating everything, as usual. You always play the victim and twist things to make me look bad. It's never your fault, is it? I work hard to provide for this family, and all I ask for is a little support and understanding. But no, you're too busy playing the mart here and making everything about you. And about my mother, she's my family too. I can't control her actions, but I've tried my best to mediate and stand up for you. But apparently, that's not enough for you. 
You just want to paint me as the bad guy. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not the Charles you used to know. Maybe I finally realized that you're impossible to please. And no matter what I do, it's never good enough for you. Oh, here we go again with your excuses and defensiveness. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it? Well, let me tell you something, Charles. I've had enough of your blame shifting and refusal to take responsibility. I'm not asking for the moon and the stars. All I want is a partner who supports me, who cares about my well-being. But clearly, that's too much to ask from you. You can keep playing the victim card all you want. But the truth is, you're the one who's changed. You've become self-centered and incapable of empathy. And I refuse to be treated like this any longer. Wow, who are you to say that to me? You're just an inferior woman. Who gave you the right to argue against me? You have no shame, don't you? Well then, fine. I also have enough of these nonsense fights. I'm tired of chasing after you and satisfying all you need. So be it. Just lie there and live with your pain. I'll tell my mom about this. When that day comes, your life will become miserable. Till that day, I'll be here and see what you could do with it. <laughs> Kelly? Kelly? Ah, uh, not again, Kelly. Why didn't you answer my call? It's 8 p.m. and the house is still a mess. Are you planning to go back to your own lazy way or what? Answer me right now or else don't blame me for being cruel. What? How could you still order me to do the household chores? Don't you even want to ask about my condition right now? What a brutal mother-in-law you are. Well, so now what? What is your reason this time so as to get away with not doing the housework? I'm too familiar with all your stupid excuses, but just go on with them. I'm listening. Okay then, I'll just spit it out to you. I'm at the hospital right now. Do you remember? That you stabbed your fork at my hands yesterday, right at the family dinner? The stab wound was so serious that I had to go to the hospital to receive treatment and an operation. Now I'm taking a rest after the operation. Well, like I care. By the way, it was just an accident. It's not my fault at all. Not your fault? Wow, you still don't want to admit it, right? You were really angry at me. And then you just stabbed me with your fork right away. It hurt badly, you know. Last night, it bled so much that I had to go to the hospital at midnight. You don't know that, because you don't even bother to care about me. I'm not that significant to you, because all you ever think of is yourself. Oh, poor little Kelly. Always playing the victim. You know what? Maybe if you weren't so annoying all the time, I wouldn't have lost my temper. It's not my fault you push my buttons. Push your buttons? Are you seriously blaming me for your lack of self-control? You're the one who can't handle a simple disagreement without resorting to violence. And don't even get me started on your complete disregard for my well-being. Spare me the melodrama, Kelly. It's not like you were on the verge of death or something. I'm sure a little scratch like that will heal in no time. You're just exaggerating the whole situation. Exaggerating? You think I'm making this up? I had to undergo surgery because of your reckless behavior. I have stitches on my hand, and the pain is excruciating. But of course, you wouldn't understand because you only care about yourself. Oh, Kelly, don't play the victim card. Maybe you should get a medal for your bravery. I'm sorry if I don't shower you with sympathy for something that was partially your fault, too. If you hadn't provoked me, none of this would have happened. You're saying that it was all my fault? Are you kidding me? I didn't force you to stab me, Mom. It's your responsibility to control your anger and act like a decent human being. But I guess that's too much to ask from someone like you. What's wrong with a woman like me? Tell me, what's wrong with me? Ah, you're just a thankless daughter-in-law that no single mother would ever want to have in their house. And don't ever think that I'll give you any money for your operation. It's just a waste of my precious cash. Huh? How could you... Oh, okay, fine. I know that you never consider me as your daughter-in-law. 
That's why I would never expect to receive anything from you. However, I still have Charles. He'll come here for me. I know he still loves me. I no longer need your help, because I'm going to call Charles right now. Oh, yeah? Are you sure about that? Well, I have already met him. And guess what? He didn't even want to give a damn care about you. He was just too tired from work, and he's taking a rest in his room right now. Well, that's fair enough. You're doing enough bad things for this house. It serves you just right. It's time you had to pay us back everything. Mrs. Melanie, I've tried to be patient and respectful, considering your role as my husband's mother and your status as an adult. However, there comes a point where I can't tolerate baseless accusations and disrespect any longer. I married your son because at that time, I truly loved him for his personality, not your property. And it's your son who first wanted me to get married and come to this house. I have never thought that my true love would lead me to this miserable life. So I implore you to stop belittling and demeaning me. So just sit there and wallow in your misery. You think you're so important, but guess what? You're simply nothing to me in this family. If you're dreaming of becoming that VIP person here, then stop that, because it's never gonna happen. What? I don't need your property. Why can't you stop talking about that? It's just tiring to hear that, you know? How dare you say that to me? To your mother-in-law? I tried my best to teach you how to be a good wife and to fit in with this house because you got married to Charles, so you had to accept every rule in this house. If you can't accomplish all of them, then get out of this house. That's the only way. Wow. Mrs. Melanie, I can't believe it has come to this. Are you really serious about kicking me out of the house? Is that what you truly want? Yes, of course, Kelly. I mean it. What do you think? Like I'm the one who is always kidding? I've reached my limit with your constant defiance and disregard for our family's rules. If you can't respect us and fit into this household, then I don't see any other option. Oh, I've got to go now. But don't forget to come back home soon and pack your stuff. You'll have a long journey to go, my dear. <laughs> so long. No, you can't do that. Mrs. Melanie! Mrs. Melanie! Oh my god. Kelly! Kelly! Answer my phone, please! This couldn't be happening! You gotta explain everything right now! Oh my god! What is this now? Ugh, I'm having a really good night's sleep. Could you please just stop disturbing me? Or else I'm gonna call the police to catch you. Don't you dare talk to me with that voice. We treated you really well and gave everything we had to you, and this is how you treat us? You don't have the right to order me, Mrs. Melanie. I'm not your maid. And, oh my god, don't act like I owe you my entire existence just because you've been kind to me. I'm not some puppet here for your entertainment. I have my own life and my own rights without the treatment of anyone in your evil family. By the way, just spill the beans. So what's happening? I don't get it. Anyway, I'm too tired to care about anything right now. Ugh, because you've just ruined my good day. Is it true that you are not coming from a poor family, aren't you? Your dad is the largest shareholder in our company. But yesterday, he said that we abused you so hard that he decided to withdraw all of the stocks in our company. He said that he didn't want to work with us anymore. Kelly. You're his daughter. You can't let him do this to us, to your own family. If he withdrew his stocks, our company would definitely go bankrupt. He has been investing a lot of money on this company, and we even had plans for a lot of new projects. If he got his sponsorship, it would be a disaster. What? Family? Well, well, well. Who am I talking to right now? Is that really Mrs. Melanie, my dear mother-in-law? It's only been a couple of days since we last met, and yet you've transformed into such a caring and concerned mother-in-law. So now you're telling me your family? How absurd is that? Well, do you want to know the reason for his decision? Let me enlighten you a little bit. It's me. I told him everything about your sins all these years. 
Well, needless to say, he immediately became furious and decided to cut ties with all of you. Don't waste your time calling me. It's no use. So save your breath and don't bother calling me. It's pointless. My lifelong dream is to see you going to hell together. And it's gradually coming true now. <laughs> Kelly, I can't believe it. You can't do this to us. How could you betray your own family like this? Betrayal? Oh, Mrs. Melanie. All your words just can't stop driving me nuts. After all the years of manipulation, abuse, and mistreatment, you dare to accuse me of betrayal? I finally found the courage to stand up for myself and expose the truth. You brought this upon yourselves. This isn't fair, Kelly. We've done so much for you, and now you're tearing our family apart. Fairness? That's an interesting concept, Mrs. Melanie. Did you ever consider the fairness of subjecting me to years of emotional torment and oppressive rules? Did you think about the toll it took on my well-being? This is just the consequence of your own actions catching up with you. Please, Kelly. I'm so sorry for everything I've done to you. I know I would not be able to heal the past wounds, but I could still make it up for you in the future, as long as you forgive me. Please, Kelly, just tell your dad to cancel his decision, so as to save your husband's company. You still love him so much, right? What on earth are you blabbering about? Charles? Well, I don't need such a useless husband like him. You know what? I think this news may not be really shocking to you. But he cheated on me, so I'll make him pay this price. No way. He couldn't do that. Are you sure that he's really cheating on you? Of course. I have collected all the necessary evidence to file for an at-fault divorce. Well, it's fortunate that I installed a secret camera inside our room, that I could finally figure out every cruel thing he did behind my back. Mrs. Melanie, I think you and your son should save your money now. You'll be really tired of dealing with the alimony. <laughs> Oh, the feeling of revenge is just sweet. I can't imagine the amount of money I would be given for this. No. No, no. You can't do this to me. It's so unfair. We used to be mother and daughter-in-law, right? So you have to save us out of this mess. Don't leave us like this. We'll do anything. We can take back your love and affection. Kelly, I admit that I made mistakes in the past. I wasn't the mother-in-law I should have been. And I failed to support you when you needed it. But please, give us a chance to make amends. We're willing to do whatever it takes to earn back your trust and rebuild the relationship. Well, I think there's no way for you to turn back now. I no longer want to care about you or this family. Because all of you ruined my life. I had to suffer so much just to gain a little bit of your mercy and sympathy. But it's over now. I'm not the daughter-in-law you used to know. I'm a different person now. So please just get away, out of my sight, and don't ever appear in front of me again. No, Kelly, I still love you, and I miss you a lot. I'll change. We'll change. We can still mend our relationship, right? Just tell me, and I'll do anything to make you happy. I'll make it up for you all my life. Please don't leave me, Kelly. After that. I blocked everything from Mrs. Melanie and Charles also. They tried to call me and disturb me for a long time. But I didn't want to care about that anymore. Three days after, my father cut ties with Mrs. Melanie's family, stopped his contract with them, and withdrew all of his stocks in their company. Later on, they had to borrow money from the bank to continue running. However, all of their projects failed. So their company became bankrupt and they had to shoulder a huge debt. About Charles, I filed for an at-fault divorce petition with all the evidence of Charles cheating with his colleagues. Therefore, I could finally win the court, and of course, he had to give me an amount of alimony each month to pay for all of my pain and suffering. Then, he had no other choice but to work in a small coffee store with a really low wage. It serves him just right. About me... I have come back to my parents' house and live a very happy life here. It's definitely true that the coziest place is in our own home, isn't it?